Hey, West Coast Johnny, how's it going? I'm on my way to Prim, Nevada. I'm taking you guys with me. We're gonna walk around a car and have it explain to us what it, we're looking at, and then we're gonna take it out for a spin. It's called the Vaughn Zipper. It's a tribute to the World War I fighter pilot who flew the Red Baron triplane. His name was Manfred von Richthofen. So it's more of a tribute to him than, uh, and it's a no definite nod to Tom Daniels' uh, model, toy model, that later Chuck Miller built. It's a nod to him, but the real tribute is for the fighter pilot. So we're gonna walk up here and we're gonna find Guido and we're gonna start this. So follow me. Exactly is this, Guido? Well, this is my tribute to a model that I had as a kid that kept blowing up and I uh, had to build the life size version. The Von Zipper. Yes, I call it the Von Zipper because I wanted to pay respects to Tom Daniels and not to get sued. Sure. <laughs> no, I understand. Wow, and this is made out of this is a hand formed hand formed out of ten different pieces of aluminum. Uh, we made a buck out of plywood shaped five pieces, reversed the buck, and made the other five, and then hammer welded everything together. Nice. Can I see you have a quick change rear end? Yep, quick change came out of Australia, Pacific Coast quick change. Just put it in this year. Had a no change in there before, but yeah, I wanted to upgrade the car. I've had it for about 22 years, built it, and uh, you know, the brake lines were old, everything was starting to rot, so I had to go through and redo everything this year. Nice. And I notice you have what looks like an old uh, World War I style gun, obviously, like the, 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 the other, the tribute car. Well, uh, in building the car, I wanted to do everything period correct. I'm paying respects to a World War I flying ace. Right and I can't do that with modern stuff. So the original car that Tom Daniels had built by Chuck Miller had two chrome machine guns that were just handmade. They weren't real machine guns. This one is a real 50 caliber Russian Maxim found in Finland after World War II. When the Nazis conquered parts of Russia, they collected their arsenals of weapons and hid them in a bunker in Finland. Found in the 50s, detuned and sold to reenactors. People that, you know, play grown men that play army need the real thing. Sure. <laughs> but they wouldn't sell me the side plates, so I could never make it a working gun. But we homemade the side plates, just welded some castle nuts and some crap on there to make it look like it's a real gun. <laughs> right. And you got the red baron helmet. And these are star, these are off of a uh, Yeah, a the star. headlights came off of a 25 star. Uh, and the owner creator of the star manufacturing uh, also had two other car companies, Moon and Diana. And Diana was named after her daughter, but it's also a constellation, and then Star and Moon. And then is this powered by an eight, straight eight of what? what, what what's the motor? Well, again, in paying proper re uh, respect to a World War I flying ace, the whole drivetrain had to be pre-World War II. And you don't, you, normally it's a fishing weight. You, people don't put these kind of anchors into a hot rod. Sure. But it's, it's a matter of respect. For sure. So I found a Chrysler Straight 8. Somebody was, uh, somebody had fully restored a Chrysler Imperial and then went bankrupt, sold it to his best friend, and then his best friend wanted to street rod it. So ripped out this beautifully restored engine, engine, transmission, and dash for 800 wow. bucks. Just like to get it away. This is one of the coolest cars on the planet. It's, it's really hodgepodge serious. together. It's amazing. So I guess we're gonna take it out for a cruise. Oh yeah. Well, and it's also got 40 Ford brakes. So the brakes are pre-World War II. Uh, I tried to do every little thing pre-World War II, except for like brake lines and shit like that. Had to be new. Sure. But, you know, other than that, and then we got the sticker collection. And that one right there is signed by Bill Hines before he died. 
I want to say he signed it about 96, 97. Wow, that's nice. Yeah, I remember him. All right. And then take a look at the manifold. The manifold was handmade. There's no speed equipment for engines like this. So he stuffed on six Strombergs. And with the zoomies, it does sound like a biplane. It's kind of cool. Definitely. It's about as full for one jerk as you can get. Yeah. With American body. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. So this friend he is in the big Make sure it's not in gear. like I gotta clean these carburetors. They're a little mucked up when I start revving on it. Maybe I'll just blow the shit out.
get your blood going in the morning. Rat-a-tat-tat, you dirty rat! <laughs> 